Hello and welcome to an action figure review. My name is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram. And I finally relented and bought three of the figures from Batman The Adventures Continue. And it's not that I didn't want to buy them. It's just I knew that in buying them, I would be basically complete with the collection. Which is kind of bittersweet and sad. Uh, because there's so much more figures that they could make. Uh, let's say Rupert Thorne, Red Claw, etc. They could get going on. But it's sad to see that not only are they not going on, but DC Direct is not even going to be a company anymore. So it's kind of sad. Um, I got three of the figures. I got Red Hood, Jason Todd, the Armored Batman, and... Deathstroke. Uh, I didn't get Azrael because, I mean, he's a cool looking figure. It's just I couldn't see myself using him a lot for photos. I'm not a big Azrael fan. He had a very short lifespan and a major comic plot in, uh, the, in Nightfall. And he pops up in comics here and there, but he's just not really that big of a deal. I mean, the only other big place where people would recognize it, recognize it from is the Arkham games and usually then he's just doing little battles on a rooftop so not too much that could be done with him I might get him just be but I'm not even really that big of a completionist but I might get him who knows however I did get three of them and we're going to take a look at them their articulation their accessories uh, and we're going to do some size comparisons but overall, I, I'm already really happy with these guys. Um, as you can see, we're gonna, we'll take a look at the Armored Batman first. And it looks like it's a, you know, a Dark Knight Returns inspired figure. But it's a, the armor does a lot more, uh, in the comic at least, than um, the Dark Knight Return version. Like, it could fly and... All that sort of stuff. Well, I'll, I'll show you. And well, as you can see, he has kryptonite brass knuckles. He has a kryptonite laced battering. He has the sonic gun. At least I think that's what it is. Um, and then he also comes with this blast. Kryptonite blast. And where you do with that. At first I thought you could plug it in to make him fly. Which you kind of can. Because... They do fly, even though I wish they would have given two. So you, know, you can plug that in. But the other place you could plug it in is in his palm. So you can like shoot a little blast up at Superman, except for that does remind me of a Marvel character. I don't know. That wears a suit. But I digress. So he comes with Weapon wise, he comes with that blast, kryptonite, battering, the, I'm gonna think it's a sonic gun, sonic charge gun. Um, and outside of that, he comes with three other hands. So he comes with a left fist. Does he come with two fists? Oh, this one, okay. So this one's just a regular fist. And this one, it looks exactly the same, except for it has a little slot where you can put in the, the battering. And then he also comes with a left fist. So he comes with two left hands, one to hold the gun and a fist. And he comes with three right... Uh, he comes with... Two right hands, one to hold the gun and a fist, and three left hands. One to hold the battering, a fist, and just the open hand one. And then, as you can also see, well, we'll go to this first. Here's the cape, and it's actually a soft good and a fabric. So it's a very nice, it allows you to do poses without the, without the cape getting in the way. And I just like the way it looks overall. It's a lot better option than having a plastic one. Now, I'm going to do a head swap real quick. So that you can see his other portrait.
and what that looks like on them. Okay. I'm gonna do a close up of this. Because I really like this. So there's the face and he also has little green kryptonite uh, around the outside of his eyes. So that's really cool. And also if you just look at the paint, it's really well done. And just like a lot a lot of the figures in this line, they're cell shading. And then we'll get into the articulation. And I'll show off some more details of his, because he has a lot of details. I'm going to zoom it all the way out. All right. So articulation. He can get his arms about that high. He has single joint elbow, but it could also rotate. His wrist can his wrist can rotate and they have hinge. It's a very tight joint, but it does move. His head and it has some movement up and down, but it could basically just move around this way. He does have a diaphragm joint that can rotate. There's not much ab crunch, if at all. His legs would go out about that far. He has a single joint knee that can bend that much. And his ankles can rock and they have hinge. And they also have the little spiked boots like in The Dark Knight Returns and Batman vs Superman. All right. So that's the Armored Batman. Very good figure. Very cool to have a, I think, this version of Batman portrait. More of a middle-aged Batman. A little gray on the, a little gray on the sides of the hair. And also, it's not just that head that comes with it. There's a little neck piece that you have to put on when you switch out the heads as well, just as a heads up. So you're not surprised. All right, now we're gonna do, let's do Red Hood, Jason Todd. Okay, so, let me get in the stand. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at his face up close. So this is unmasked, obviously. And what I like about this unmasked face is usually when, the, companies do uh, masked and unmasked uh, like Mattel for instance when the unmasked is off there's usually like a domino mask like the old Robin mask like like this if I get it on there but it's usually red or something like that however I like that this is just uh, no mask you can see he has dark sunken in eyes he has a face that shows he's pissed he's got a scar across the cheek which one can only assume probably from a crowbar. And then let's go down and look at the rest of them. Cool jacket. He has a, what looks like a satchel bag, but it's really just a holster. And the gun is removable. Then we got the cell shading on the boots. And the boots. He's got that little curl, Superman curl going. That's a, an, again, another really well done beautiful figure now it's gonna look we're gonna look at the accessories let me zoom out of here okay accessories wise he comes with I'll uh, just do this he comes with two open hands two trigger fingers and two hands that just hold a, a variety of things you hold anything and then of course he comes with two fists so all in all he comes with two four six eight hands and then you can see he comes with a bazooka, a, a red hood orang, I guess, or his old Robin batarang, the red hood mask with, again, the, the scar under the cheek. So I guess that wasn't from the crowbar. He must have got it while being red hood. And then he also has a bazooka. And at first I thought the bazooka was just going to be 
um, the same as the one that came with Harley Quinn Expression Pack. However, it's it's different. It's got some cool different stuff, different painting. So, uh, well, I'm gonna put his portrait on the Red Hood portrait before we get into articulation. If I can get the all right. Nice. Wasn't too hard to take off. Anytime you put on another head sculpt, I'm always afraid that it's going to be too difficult to get the head off. Ooh, he looks sick with this on. Definitely like the red hood mask on, too. Let's get this over here. Go to articulation. Now let's go arms first. Oh, nice. The arms go up decently high, and there, it wasn't hard to do it at all. I didn't feel like I was having to force it. He has single, single joint elbow, but it goes to a 90 degree angle, so that's nice. You do the splits. I could do more, but I don't want to force it. That's just unforced, natural. Straight out the box, single joint knee, goes up that much. His ankles go up and down on a hinge and they do rotator rock. Does he have a, oh cool, he does move at the waist. And see that head joint. Not too much forward and back, but moving it side to side does give you some different angles, as you can see. All right. So, I guess that's it for him. Again, you get eight hands in total. A fist, open wide hands, trigger finger, and regular holding something hands. A bazooka. Uh red hood ring or his old robin battering and a jason todd portrait as well and he does definitely look like a version that was brought back from the dead <laughs> with how pale he looks and the sunken in eyes all right now last but certainly not least because this guy is amazingly cool looking and i'm going to take off his Hopefully it's easy. Oh, it doesn't feel easy. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch it right now. All right. So, Deathstroke. Who hopefully we're gonna see fight Batman in an HBO Max series or something. But I gotta say so far, he is the most difficult in terms of articulation, that's for sure. Um, especially in regards to standing. I already had to use hot water and a hair dryer to get some movement on the legs. I'm just so afraid of breaking them, especially because nothing sucks more than getting a brand new figure and breaking it. So I've been very careful with this guy. But as you can see, this is the... Adventures continue Deathstroke. And the thing I'm worried about with taking off his, his head is I don't want to get these things weak or break those because those things look awesome. And a lot of his accessories you can see on him. He comes with a sword that is removable. I don't want to. I'll just. Let me set you guys down. <laughs> Alright, so the sword is removable. I swear. And then he also has a gun that's removable. Which. At first I was worried that he did, wasn't even going to come with a gun. The gun's removable. And he also comes with this little boot knife. Which. Uh, come on. 
to get it in there was tough and now of course I'm trying to demonstrate getting it out oh my gosh this is rough well you know what I'm not going to test it but trust me it comes out I'm going to have to use hot water again so like I said this guy's been the most difficult in terms of like fragility getting the knife in there on his boot thing was tough now obviously getting out is going to be tough um, getting the head scope off is tough because I don't want to break those things little tassels hanging off his head but all right let's look at the other accessories so we got his other portrait his unmasked portrait Slade Wilson and you see he comes with two trigger fingers two open hands which you could like pose as him throwing stuff action poses then he comes with his two hands that are able to hold his sword and or knife and uh, yeah there's his accessories another good look at him all right so now we're going to do articulation now with this guy that's how high he could get his arms he has single joint elbows that can rotate at the elbow. His, his wrist. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, they have hinge and they can rotate. His legs, they don't really move. Don't worry, I didn't break it. They just pop off. It's extremely stiff. And again, that's why I said there we go that's when you get to work but again i had to use a lot of hot water a lot of hot water and a lot of uh hair blower hair dryer but yeah his his feet they don't really move due to the way these boots are so you're gonna have to be extremely careful when trying to maneuver and get them to work right so even though he's a pretty figure he's a beautiful figure deathstroke is definitely uh, he's a tough one to get everything handled and everything situated with. So it's going to be interesting to see how I could get him to pose and do uh, action shots. But do I regret getting him? No. Will I regret it if, I, if it breaks trying to get the head sculpt off and the tassels fall off? That's going to suck. Because especially, how am I going to get a new figure when the company doesn't even exist anymore? So, if you get these guys, proceed with caution. Because who knows if you're ever going to get get another one of these. And if you are, you're probably going to have to buy it. And if you're not going to be able to get it from a Big Bad Toy Store for retail, you're going to have to pay a ton from scalpers. So, do I suggest getting these guys? If you're a fan of this show, heck yeah. If you collected a, almost all of these figures and you want to get these guys, then heck yeah. Um, get them while you can for a fair price at Big Bad Toy Store or any other online shop. Because if you can get them at your comic shop, that's even better. But my comic shop doesn't have them. So I had to go the, the route of Big Bad Toy Store. And they got here quick. I ordered them uh, last Friday. And they got here this Friday, so only a week. Not too bad. Uh, but if you want to see more pictures, you could hit up at Batman Figs on Instagram. I'll have a link in the description box below. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.